In 2022, I spent over $3,000 reviewing activewear for you. And obviously, as I've been trying on things, there's a few items that have me in a chokehold. So today we are going to go over my top five activewear bottoms, leggings, skorts, and shorts from 2022. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Elena. Welcome, welcome. I'm a certified personal trainer, women's weight loss coach, a fitness enthusiast, and an activewear lover. And today we are doing my top five favorite activewear bottoms from 2022, leggings, shorts, and skorts edition. If you like videos like this, you better make sure to smash that like and that subscribe button for more activewear reviews, as well as later on in 2023, more fitness and weight loss content to help you reach your weight loss and fitness goals. Now, all items in this video, but one have in-depth reviews already, and you can find those reviews down in the description box below. The one item that I haven't reviewed yet is literally going to be reviewed next week, so you don't have to wait too long. But other than that, let's get on with this top five review. Oh, by the way, if you're new and you've never been here for a top five review, it is a very quick summary. This is literally just me raving about all of the things I love about these pieces. And if you are an OG Flex Fam follower, um, you have every single right, <laughs> every single right to get mad at me for the amount of clothes that I include from a brand that I've been bitching about for three years. Full rights, go ham, get at me in the comments. I will not, I won't even be upset because this top five video is actually a little bit embarrassing considering how much I've been bitching. So let's get to it. Okay, so in fifth place is the Gymshark Power Leggings. These are the leggings in this video that have not been reviewed yet. The review is literally coming out next week. If you're watching this later on in the year, you can go and watch the review. I will try and remember to update the link in the description box for you to pop over to that video. But these leggings, although I do have some issues with them, specifically with um, the waistband rolling down, which will be detailed in the full review, I just love how they actually start at my lower belly and they mold me up. As someone who is shorter but has more um, weight in my um, my stomach area. These leggings are honestly one of the godsends of this video. Of course, I love all the leggings in this video, but still, these just, they make me feel like a brand new woman. And honestly, I really would love for Gymshark to make these leggings like this exact style, just in solid colors. Get rid of the print, just give me some solid colors, maybe add some contouring to the thigh, but good God, like, Look, like, oh, also, and the booty has a hidden booty scrunch, so it just makes your butt look good. It has really high booty, seems to make your booty look poppin'. Like, I shit on Gymshark a lot, but I genuinely think that they killed it with the power leggings. And honestly, they might be higher up Actually, they may even compete for the number one spot if it wasn't for the fact that the waistband is just it's honestly hellish for those of us who do hold more weight in our midsection because the top is very muffin top central as you can see. And or if you're watching at a later date, go and watch the full review. Okay, I swear that this is not like an all Gymshark video but once again OG flex famers you can shit on me because I'm constantly shitting on Gymshark yet I am putting multiple of their items in this review anyway in number four spot number four fourth place whatever the heck you want to call it the Gymshark apex seamless leggings and you are allowed to shit on me because I literally made a live stream where I went so hard on how stupid these leggings are and then when i got them 
they became one of my favorite leggings. I still stand by everything I said in that live stream. I still stand by everything that I said in the review video. These leggings are made for a very specific body type. And I happen to fall into that body type. So they look really good on me, okay? First of all, okay, like if you, if you're, if you haven't watched the full review, it's fine, it's fine. You need to go watch it. But the quad, mm, my quads, the little quad contouring, yes, honey. And then just like the little Power Ranger vibe going on. I love wearing these leggings in a set. I actually don't think I've worn these leggings without the bra because I feel like a damn badass. The set is really cute. And okay, we don't have like super high on the, you know, on the peak scale or anything like that, but like it still looks really, really good. Once again, th there could be some improvements, maybe a hidden booty scrunch. I still don't really love this contouring, the butt, baboon butt contouring. I would like to, them to get rid of these lines, but I like the patterning on the back of the hamstring. I think that it does kind of enhance the hamstring, but really what I'm obsessed with is just the view of my body from the front, okay? These lines, this little detail, this little color, it just looks so good on me. So yeah, in fourth place is a legging that won't work for a lot of you ladies because yes, these leggings, if you do not already have assets, are gonna make your ass look hella flat. I'm just gonna be point blank period right there, but you can get more details in the in-depth review that's linked down in the description box. Okay, so in third place, how, you shouldn't be surprised. If, if you've been watching the reviews, you shouldn't be surprised. Is the Shein Flouncy Squirt. I believe this one is from the brand Glow Mode on Shein. If you're wondering why it's covered in wrinkles, I literally have not unpacked any of my suitcases since I got back from vacation literally like five days ago. Yeah, those suitcases probably aren't going to be fully unpacked until February, if I'm being honest, because I'm still studying for exams right now. But I just need all of the girlies to get at least like one score in your active work collection, specifically this one, because I think this one is a really good combination of like a unique style where it dips, it's longer in the front, longer in the back, but gives you a little bit of a little peekaboo show on the side. But also, these are so great when you're on your period because you can wear your granny panties, you can wear your reusable period underwear, you can wear whatever the fuck you want on your period, and no one's gonna know. No one's gonna know. So for me, I'm actually buying more of these skorts in different colors, just so that I have like a full seven day pack for when I'm in my period. So if you see a bunch of videos of back to back to back where I'm just wearing different skorts, it's because it was a period week, okay? But apart from like the whole convenience factor of having skorts for when you're on your period, I do think that they just look really, really cute. Obviously you can wear them outside the gym, um, just be mindful that a lot of the skorts are a little bit more revealing than other active wear pieces. You'll usually find that the shorts underneath are about a three inch um, inseam. So yes, they do ride up. But for me, honestly, y'all know I'll put up with a lot of shit so long as my legs and my booty look good. And honey, do they ever look good when I'm wearing this skort? Honestly, no, like from number spot number three and spot number two, I love them both equally. They just serve different purposes. Okay, in second place, another affordable piece for all of you who are wanting to look like gym baddies on a budget. <sighs> the N-C-L-A-G-E-N shorts from AliExpress. I don't know if I ever get that store's name right. It'll be on the screen. These shorts have had me in a chokehold since day one. I Okay, so when I first got them, I think I wore them every single week. Like I would 
continue to wash these just so that I could rewear them because, because, look at my ass. Like, do we, do we need to argue? Do, do we need to argue that these are probably, in my opinion, better than the Alpha Lead Amplify shorts? Because in my opinion, these are literally, a, did, I calculated, I think it was like a third or a fourth of the Alpha Lead Amplify shorts when they're not on sale. And in my opinion, they make your butt look way better because not only do we have that deep booty scrunch, but we've also got this under booty contouring that is relatively pronounced and it just makes your butt pop. Like the only downside of course, with the shorts that I had a gripe about in the in-depth review was the waistband. But honestly, it's not really the shorts fault because your girl been eating good. Your girl been lifting good. And I've been expanding in all types of ways. So yes, they are now <laughs> tight on the quads. Um, still about the same feel in the midsection, but I definitely could go up to a large just to kind of stop dealing with this sausage leg thing. So if you're someone who is thicker than a snicker or you got the holiday weight still going on, going up a size is definitely not going to hurt you, but no one should be surprised <laughs> that the shorts popped up in the number two spot, in my personal opinion, because these were an amazing affordable find for 2022. Okay, so in spot number one, drum roll please. In spot number one, But are any of you surprised? Are any of you surprised? The Gymshark Ombre Seamless V2, V2, cause V3 sucks. V2 leggings have had me in the tightest chokehold this entire year of 2022, not 2023. I have worn these leggings and shorts a disgusting amount. So it started off with me buying the shorts and the shorts made me look so good that I had to go and buy the leggings, okay? So we started with the black shorts, graduated up to the black leggings, and then I got two more colorways. And I wear, okay, first of all, I'm biased because I think the black makes me look so freaking snatched. So I wear the black, like leggings shorts at least two times a month, but like the other colors too, I just, I can't, I can't explain my obsession. I'm obsessed. It, it's literally like that. I shit on Gymshark a lot, okay? I shit on Gymshark a lot because I still have a lot of issues with Gymshark, okay? We're still beefing, but Sometimes you just find a piece of activewear that fits you so well that you have to have multiple pieces of it. And this is literally it for me and the Gymshark Ombre Seamless V2 line. Like if I could recommend a piece of activewear for any woman who looks like me or has similar measurements to me, which are down in the description box or has a similar shape to me, these leggings, these shorts, make you just look some type of way. From the compressive waistband to the nice ombre that honestly just kind of seems to contour your leggings. And also these are a little bit, um, these are performance feeling fabrics. So there is a little bit of a sheen to them, which I think helps accentuate, that gives the illusion of you just being a little bit more buff, more toned, whatever you want to call it. It just looks so good. Now, don't get me wrong, on the peak scale, this is still about a medium, but for some reason, these just look so good. Like even with me just standing up, like, okay, 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 hunty. So for me, yes, um, <laughs> I've been obsessed. I'm still obsessed. I'm probably going to be raving in these leggings until I split the crotch open, pop the booty seam open. I don't see me 
not being obsessed with these leggings for the next few years. It's kind of like my obsession with Navigation Pro Shorts. If this was in a top, like, top five 2022 review, the Pro Shorts would have been in this video again. But I'm sure y'all are tired of me including the Pro Shorts in almost every single like top five review video that I do. But these are those kind of leggings. So like, if you ever wonder, Elaine, do you still wear your clothes after you review them? Yeah, I do. It's been a hefty year reviewing activewear for you, but it's been fun because I, I got to discover, <sighs> discover this. And of course, you'll get to see the other colorways. They're on the screen that I promised to review a while ago when 2022 was a very, very busy, busy year. So you'll still get a lookbook at some point. Let me know if you like the lookbook idea, because yes, there are pieces that I buy and I fall in love with, and then I buy multiple colors. So if you would like to see multiple colorways of the activewear pieces that I do fall in love with, let me know. And I'll like make that into like, you know, short three minute, four minute videos for you to take a look at the colorways. And I'll also be able to tell you whether the, um, the colorways fit differently or whatnot, because sometimes you'll get a, like a, a legging or a short that'll fit perfectly in one color, but will fit completely off in another color because of the, um, the manufacturing process when it comes to dyes and everything like that. So yes, are we all on the same page? You know what? You know what? Let me put on the shorts. Let me put on the shorts so that those of you who, who haven't gone and watched the Ombre Seamless reviews can fully understand the obsession. Okay. Let me just one minute. Okay. One moment. Okay. So with the shorts, you're getting a little bit of like a extra tip with the shorts to make your everything just like pop. Could you imagine if while I was giving you this tip, this would be the moment when I would rip the booty, the pseudo seam, but to make everything pop, you just get, get this directly under your booty, hike everything up in there. The shorts do take a little bit more work. But yeah, I'm in love with these. And you can let me know your thoughts down below. Whoa. <laughs> you made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate you and your time. If you found this video useful, please make sure to smash that like and that subscribe button so that you never miss an upload from me in the future. Let me know what you thought about these items. Have you purchased them? Are you in love with them? Are you thinking about purchasing them? Unfortunately, I know the Gymshark ombre items that I put in number one are no longer being made in the same style and are no longer currently available, at least not on the Canadian site for Gymshark. So go to Poshmark, go to Reddit, go, go online and see if you can find them because they have me in the biggest chokehold. I have probably worn the Gymshark ombre seamless leggings and shorts at minimum once a week, if not once every two weeks since I got them. I'm literally literally obsessed but can you blame me they make me look so good like for shorter ladies who hold more weight in their midsection i think the ombre seamless line was just a godsend also skorts yeah, 2022 was the discovery of scores and you bet your ass there's going to be more of those reviews coming on in 2023. Once again, make sure to follow. There's going to be more fitness and weight loss content this year. Also make sure to head to the link within the first like two or three lines in the description box to go check out my stand store where you will find my weight loss coaching package, my personalized 12 week workout plan package, as well as my fitness and weight loss tracker ebook and my Amazon books. Yes, I literally have over six workout and weight loss trackers now available on Amazon. It is a literal physical book that I do not have with me right now because it is down in my gym bag. I've been using it. And if you don't want the book and you just want to print it, this is literally what the tracker looks like when printed. It will get you through three months of tracking every single workout. 
It will even guide you through goal setting, proper goal setting for a healthy weight loss journey. And it will also guide you through creating a workout routine. This is literally a third of the ebook that's available. So you can find that down in my stand store and you can purchase it, download it and go and print it right away. And for my Amazon codes, my discount codes, anything else that you need, you can find that on my website, www.fitnessbeyondaesthetics.com where you can also get more in-depth information about my coaching packages. I'm so excited to be working with so many of you lovely ladies and some of you gents in 2023 to help you reach your weight loss and fitness goals. And once again, if you found this video useful, smash that like and that subscribe button. If you are part of the flex fam and you've made it this far, leave a little, like, what is that thing? Like those like new year's poppy, any celebration emoji, leave it down below in the description box. Happy new year. I am so excited to continue growing the flex fam with you. And I appreciate you so much. Always remember that your fitness goes beyond your aesthetics. It's not just about how good you look. It's important to make sure they feel good mentally, emotionally, physically, and sexually as well. Watch the other videos that are on the screen and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.